Jose Fenty K Global with a Jose Burton after his second round TKO win here in Manchester. Firstly, congratulations on yeah. that. <coughs> Excuse me, how'd you feel? I feel, feel good. Ready for a fight. Mm -hmm. Was this a bit of anticlimactic for you, the fact that you, you want to be back in these big fights immediately, taking out these kind of guys? I mean, what goes through your mind? Listen, he wasn't a bad fighter, you know. He, he, he was a cruiserweight, 5-0. He was a decent man. Um, late change of opponent, but I'm better, I'm better than five fight men, you know. I, I am the best light heavyweight in Britain, so just fighting normal bits of men is not much of, I'm sounding big headed, but I'm not trying to be big headed, it's not much of a, of a big thing. So I want the big fights. Well, let's go straight into it. What interests you? What big fights would you like to see? What fights would you want to be in? Frank Buglioni, belt and belt. You know, Frank, listen, Frank's a nice man. He's a straight, genuine person, I think. What I know of him, he's a straight, genuine man. He's not bad, bad mouthed me since, he's, uh, since, he, since he got the win over me. But I was the unlucky man in that fight. You know, I won nearly every round. I got caught in the last. It never knocked me out. It scrambled my senses a little bit. He got the win, fair play to him. I wish him all the luck in the world. He's fighting Callum in a couple of weeks. He's got to come through that. If he comes through that, which best of luck to him, I don't think he will. But no, I'm not going to wish bad luck, bad luck upon him. But if he comes through that, I'd love him to fight me. And Frank, there's plenty of money in the fight. You like money, I like a few quid as well. Now, that fight, for instance, we've seen that Callum Johnson, Frank Bullion, defending his title against Johnson. Does that leave other fights to be available to be made? We've seen with the Anthony Yard situation that potentially back and forth. Is there any movement on that? Is that a fight you would like to be seen made? Look, we was ordered to fight by the British Boxing Board of Control. The winner of us two fought the winner of Callum and Frank. He pulled out. What for? It was an easy fight for him, was it? Listen, he would get the same as that man just got knocked out. Um, he pulled out, what more can I say? I, you know, I, as I say many times before, I'm a fighting man and I will fight anyone. The shot that you ended the fight with today was a, a right, look like a, a short right hand, maybe a short right uppercut. Uh, to, 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 to start the ball rolling, it was a right uppercut against the ropes, like he come running onto me and threw a right uppercut, caught him. Um, I think the second time he went down was a bit of a right hand, like a longish right hand. Um, I can't really remember much of it, to be honest. It was, it was a quick fight, wasn't it? Credit to him, though. He's travelled down late notice to take these fights as a real fighting man. Come down from Scotland. You've got to give all credit cash. to him. You've got to give all credit to the man. But <coughs> listen, he thought he'd come here to win. I am a light heavyweight. He's a cruiserweight. He thought he was going to come into that ring and try to bully me. He tried to, listen, I caught him with a good one, too, at the start. I come out and threw a jab. Um, a one two and like sort of a shoulder roll and come back with his own shot. So the man, he was no mug. I'd like to see somebody else chin him as quick, you know. Um, he thought he, he, he was coming to win. Um, What's the plan then for you going forward from here? As you can see Barry Hearn quite excited for yourself. Is there rumours that you're going to be on the next gen card uh, pretty soon? What's That's next there? week, and you've got to have seven full days in between a fight so that's not allowed and um, so Barry's just told me now so um, I would love to have fought on that and um, I'll be back in the gym Monday and I'm fit drop about I'll fight we saw your cousin Tyson Fury out today to support you it must be nice to have an inner world champion coming to watch you box and coming to support yes. you on your journey possibly the best British man in history you know, my first cousin. We've got the same blood running through our veins. We're a fighting family. It's great that he's, uh, he's come to, to come and support me. He does it quite often. Um, obviously when he can, he can, but we've been brought up together. We've lived on the same camp, you know? Watching the trials and tribulations he's been through, rightly or wrongly. Does, Pardon? Watching the trials and tribulations he's been through, rightly or wrongly, does yeah. that give you more incentive to stay sort of in the gym and stay active and keep taking over? Listen, I know, I know nothing else. Tyson's a clever man. Tyson, 
Tyson would be a rich man if it wasn't boxing. You know, he's a clever man. I've dedicated myself to boxing. I never went to school, went to school till I was 11, so I'm not a very good writer. I can read a little bit, but I'm not very good. Um, if anyone's seen my handwriting when I'm trying to give a signature, it's terrible. You know, I'm half embarrassed to do it, but, so I've got to be a boxer, I've got to train hard. You know, I'm not going to get no fancy jobs. So, I don't know where we're going with this, but. It's just good to get a little bit, going to a little bit about you, obviously. Yeah, I got a little bit lost in the question, I can't remember oh, what you asked me. Right. Right. <laughs> but all in all, you're satisfied with today, and now you sort of, as you said, going to look for an immediate, immediate date for you to get out again. Listen, I think I should be number one in Britain. I'm current, currently ranked number six. That's ridiculous. You know, um, they've got the likes of Adjusef, one, Uglione two, Johnson three, Yard four, Conroy five, me six. I can do the lot. We'll take Callum out of the equation because he's my friend and we don't want to get on that. The Bugley only fight, he beat me. He won the fight. Anybody can see who was winning that fight all the way up until the end. Just one of them things that happened, I got beat off of him. If the worst way you could rank me at three, you don't rank me at six. Will you be looking to, to challenge the Above you, obviously above Anybody you. above me, you can fight. You can have it any way you want it. I'm, I'll stand and have a fight with you, I'll box you, I'll do whatever you like. Well, any home that you're watching this, hopefully we see Jose Burrow in some big fights, hopefully in the near future. Yes. Thank you for your time today, congratulations. Thank you, and you're my favourite iPhone presenter. What's, what are you, what are what's you? the logic behind that? Or just camera mush? Camera mush, <laughs> yeah, you're my favourite camera mush. Just, just better than Coogan. I appreciate that. That means a lot, mate. It means a lot. Thank you very much for your time, though. I was out. I'll catch you soon. No Cheers, problem. John.